My name is David Regan. I'm the head of the workshop here at West Byfleet Golf Club. We were the first power caddy service centre in Europe and we started in 1983. When we started, this was the most popular cart in the golfing market. This became the hoover of carts. It was a power caddy and power caddies are electric golf carts. This was called the classic cart. This is the chassis of this one, which is the current cart called the Legend. They're brothers. Virtually the same, apart from some colouring and one or two materials they use in the Legend that they didn't use in this one. We work on many carts, around about 3,000 a year, and of those 3,000, 50% service, 50% repairs. And we get many of these in for service, and every cart that comes in has one area that has to be worked on uh, above all else, and that is the connection between the handle and the chassis. I've taken the clasp off of this one, but the handle pulls out, and we can see that this handle is held into the chassis by means of a tube, and when we push it in, there's a clamp that tightens it. That is the weakest part of the car. That is the one that gives us the most problems. The chassis, when they first built this car, was made from metal. In the classic car, in the legend car, it's always been made from nylon. Nylon wears faster than metal. So over a period of time, the taking in and out of the handle gradually wears away two surfaces. One, the section at the bottom, the paint. Two, the tube that it goes into, the nylon tube, nylon wears. And so we end up with a situation where this has become smaller. The tube that it goes into has become bigger. So if we want to think simply, you've got a 32 inch waist with a 38 inch belt. You have got to do something to make that 38 inch belt hold a 32 inch waist trousers up. And that's our job. The number of carts we have come in where this allows the handle to move backwards and forwards. And of course, as it moves backwards and forwards, it wears even faster then we have a real problem. Powercaddy's answer is you buy a new handle, £20, you buy a new chassis, £50, and to fit all the parts onto the chassis, you can probably add another £40. That's a very expensive way of getting around the problem, and is unnecessary, quite frankly. Over the years, we've developed many methods of working on parts of carts that do the job very well. What I'm going to suggest to you now, we've been doing for a long time, and it's proven. It does no harm to the car, and it certainly gets the problem sorted much, much more cheaply. Now I'm going to show you uh, a good example. I'm going to move in close to the camera. This is the chrome clasp that holds the handle in to the nylon tube of the chassis. This handle is unwound. The clasp spreads, the handle can be put in, and then this is tightened up and acts like the belt on one's waist. But we can see one problem with this one. The groove that is supposed to tighten up is already touching. It cannot be tightened up anymore. The only way we can make that tighten up anymore is to grind back some of the metal so that the two wings can close up further than they did before, thus pressing the tube together. Number two, this threaded bolt has a stop. When this lever tightens up to the end of the thread, it can tighten no more. Three, the chassis itself has a groove in the base. If the two sides of this groove touch, it can tighten no more. So those three elements have to be addressed. It takes 10 minutes. It costs virtually nothing. And it does the job. If you don't do it, we have a situation on the handle. And we can take this one, for example. All of the paint has become worn away from the movement and it's rusted. This is steel. 
not stainless steel, steel, and it will rust. So when the water gets in, you can see this one has rusted. But at the bottom, we have a, this V-groove. This V-groove is designed merely to centralise the handle whilst you are tightening up this mechanism. Once it's tight, this cannot move. If the car is unserviced, if you haven't addressed the three issues I talked about, this will move. Now, more importantly, we must understand that there's a golf bag on this upper bag rest, which is attached to the tube. Over rough ground, the golf bag will start to sway backwards and forwards and put enormous pressure on this V-groove, which is at the bottom. And we get many, many handles in where they have become misshapen and some of them start to crack. The worst case is people who don't do anything about the problem actually shear it right off. And we can see on this one there's a crack quite plainly in the metal. This is a steel handle. This is the strongest version. In the old days, when they first launched it in 1983, it was made from aluminium. This aluminium handle is roughly half the weight of the steel. So we are uh, calling this one the stronger version, heavy duty. There's all sorts of uh, labels we put on it but it's to show that it's much stronger than the aluminium these used to break quite often because they really weren't man enough so uh, around about 2008 Power Caddy moved over to the steel version and that's the one that you can only buy now the uh, fortunately the old aluminium are long gone but the handle itself has been beefed up as much as possible but it makes no difference the one I showed you with the crack was a steel one. If you don't service this part and the chassis tube, that will break also. So our job is to try and convey to people if you're buying a handle from us, if you're looking at your own cart and being annoyed by how much the handle moves and your bag moves, bring it in for service or just have that part serviced and it will cure the problem. I hope that helps you.